I'm bad! Just a cat! I hope you're satisfied! <laughs> Sorry about that. That intro is just so catchy, I couldn't help but sing along this time. Okay, let's get started. Trent was driving his Model Y on the highway outside of Apex, North Carolina one sunny day when he witnessed something he never thought he'd see. This looks like it's straight out of a video game. Up ahead, we see a pickup truck swerving off the road, and it almost looks like he's aiming for that big jump at highway speed. The pickup gets some major hang time before putting its suspension to the test when it comes crashing down. Everything turned out okay, but Trent is pretty sure the pickup driver was on his phone when this happened. Joel has a Blackview dash cam in his Model S, and when he was driving up a road in Minneapolis, Minnesota, he witnessed an accident at this intersection up ahead. The Dodge turned left without having the right-of-way, resulting in a head-on collision in the intersection. Everyone involved was okay, but we can see that the passenger of the Dodge was either in shock or she was quickly updating her Facebook status. Joel contacted law enforcement and offered them the footage, but they weren't interested. Victor was driving his brand new Model Y with only 400 miles on it. As he was entering the highway, he sped up to overtake the slower moving cars in front of him, moving straight to the leftmost lane. It looks like the Subaru in front of him had the same idea. Victor let off the accelerator, but the Subaru driver was apparently already offended and began to brake check Victor. When he brake checked Victor a second time, Victor had no chance to react and rear-ended the Subaru. Victor's insurance company told him they'll go after the other driver, and Victor adds that he's going to sue him personally as well. This is our first video from Taiwan. It's from a submitter whose Model 3 was crashed into while parked. He was able to send the video to the police who found and caught the driver. Neil was driving his Model 3 in Oakland, California when this car tried to pull an illegal U-turn in front of him. The car fled the scene and Neil contacted the police, but he hasn't heard back from them yet. Michael was driving his Model 3 on a rainy October morning in Rockford, Illinois, taking his kids to school when a deer unsuccessfully attempted to hurdle them. Michael says he felt the jolt but didn't see the deer until he looked up and saw it looking down at him through the glass roof. Neither Michael's family nor the deer were injured, but the Tesla did sustain some damage. An insurance claim of $3,100 US dollars covered fixing dents, repainting, and replacing the windshield. Spencer was driving his Model 3 when a mob of deer ran across the road near an intersection. Even though he stopped, one of the deer still ran into him. Fortunately, we can see that the deer hopped right up and rejoined the mob. His Tesla spent almost a month in the shop, with the repair coming to $8,650 US dollars. Based on the rather cryptic parts list, Spencer deduced that the driver's mirror, the windshield, the front half of the glass roof, the driver's door, the driver's window, the window motor, and a few other items all needed to be replaced. Unfortunately, Spencer's bad luck didn't end here. After he got his Tesla back from the shop, Spencer was driving on a highway in Delaware. An object flew off a fire truck and hit his front bumper. When he first contacted the fire department, he gave them information about the truck but didn't tell them he had video footage of the incident, and they said the truck wasn't in service and wouldn't have been where he said it was. When he provided the video, they looked into their records and found that it had been sent out for repairs and was being driven back at the time of the incident. This time, repairs cost about 2300 US dollars. Spencer told us he really enjoys the channel. His seven-year-old daughter Lyra loves watching it with him every Sunday. We want to give a shout out to Lyra. Thanks for watching. We'll keep our fingers crossed that your dad won't be sending us any more crash videos anytime soon. Wham, bam, she fell on cam. 
Chris was driving his Model 3 when he encountered a driver who almost caused an accident on the I-4 westbound exit to FL-535. Watch what happened when Chris honked at him. The passenger got out of the vehicle and approached Chris's window yelling at him. Staying there for a good 30 seconds before spitting on his vehicle, Chris had a black view running in the car as well, which captured this audio of the encounter. What are you f back into your car? D no, get back into your car. Get back into your car. Get back into your car. I'm not rolling. I'm not doing it. Go back to your car. 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 Get back in your- Chris didn't engage. We can also hear the passenger call Chris profanities multiple times before he spits on his Tesla. Keep in mind that he did this during a pandemic. What is wrong with people? When the light turned green, the driver couldn't keep his lane and almost hit another vehicle multiple times. Kai was driving his Model S in Clayton, Missouri when he and a Toyota Camry went around a turning vehicle. The Toyota Camry sideswiped a Jeep Grand Cherokee while changing lanes. Kai says he honked to warn them, but it was too late. Richard was dropping off his kids at school in his Model 3 when he took note of these impatient drivers. They overtook the school bus, which was dropping off kids outside the school on the wrong side of the road and on a crosswalk. The kids noticed the cars in time, so there was no harm done, but Richard asks, please, we need to drive carefully around children. Luis was driving home from work in San Diego, California with autopilot engaged when a Mini Cooper rolled through a red light at an intersection and ended up right in front of him. Luis says that autopilot slowed down and alerted him with an audible alarm. Satoki had left his Model 3 parked in a lot in Kobe, Japan when the driver parked next to him dinged her door into his Tesla. He notified the police who contacted the driver. She told the police she didn't know what he was talking about. Fortunately, he was able to prove what happened with this sentry mode footage. This clip submitter was driving his Model S down a local street near his home with his two kids. A Honda driver blindly pulled out and forced him to swerve to the left. The driver never signaled or checked her mirrors. She drove off without a word and didn't even bother to stop. Fortunately, there was no damage. Kudos to the submitter for the great reaction and driving skills. As this video submitter was leaving Peterson Air Force Base after work one night, he saw something fly quickly across the sky toward the mountain. At first he thought it was an aircraft, but then the lights seemed to evaporate. That's when he realized it was a shooting star. Do we even need to tell you what he wished for? Chris was driving his Model 3 in Las Vegas, Nevada on a three-lane road when he made room for this Honda to enter the leftmost lane. When the Honda approached an intersection with a red left arrow and three straight green lights, they suddenly decided to turn on their left turn signal and stop in the leftmost straight lane. This forced Chris to stop suddenly and the driver behind him had to swerve around him to the left to avoid an accident. Luckily, there was no damage, but it was a very dangerous situation caused by the Honda. Diego was driving his Model Y in Raleigh, North Carolina. Suddenly, a semi braked super hard to avoid hitting a motorcycle in front of it. Diego says it was a scary moment since he never saw the motorcycle until after the semi slammed on its brakes. Only then did he see a motorcycle appear to move out of the way and fall into the grassy area. Thankfully, the motorcyclist got up immediately and seemed to be okay. Lucas was driving his Model 3 in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada when he had to brake hard for a car even though he had a green light. 
Luckily, no accident occurred. Mike was driving on the highway in Quebec City one afternoon in his Model 3 when suddenly he saw an old man in the road. He was using a walker in the left lane against oncoming traffic. Mike says it's the first time he's seen anything like it in his life. This is extremely dangerous and we hope someone eventually helped the man off the road. All right, everyone grab your telescopes because we appear to have a space mystery on our hands. Skyler was driving down a freeway with no traffic immediately in front of him when a rock suddenly struck his windshield. Where did the rock come from? If we play the clip in slow motion, it sure looks like the rock comes from above. Skyler personally believes it was a meteorite and so do many of his friends that he showed it to. What do you believe? Leave a comment and let us know. We'll be back next Sunday, Earthlings. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends, I'll drive diesel. I must make a man. Yeah.